All right, we're live. So today we are going to look at some open houses in the Brookside and Midtown area. And I've brought my assistant with me and local expert. And uh, we're gonna have some fun looking at some houses. What, uh, what are you hoping to see today? Um, I mean, I'm hoping to see some cool ones, but mm. also like, I don't know, just ones that I haven't, like, uh, that I'm not familiar with, like mm -hmm. not the ones that you see all around, you know? So what do you, um, so you decided you wanted to come join me today. Um, what about looking at houses with your dad sounded appealing? Yeah, that sounded fun because I get just some cool like, time with you. Okay, so this is day two for you in the real estate business. So we'll uh, we'll have some fun and shoot some video and talk about some houses. Sound good? Yep. Cool. How long is it the house been on the market? So we just walked through our first open house and you got kind of crazy with the camera went off and filmed the whole house. But what did you think? I really liked it. Yeah. It was cool. What was cool about it? Um, it just felt really open and really the, tall ceilings. The closets were really big. Okay. So this was a new construction. This was an older house that they knocked down and they built up. And it's a uh, midtown area, right near the hospital, great area, but really nice new construction. It had a lot of nice, hopefully you caught some of it on video, <laughs> some of the nice features that were unique um, that you really would only find in a, a new build. So, so you like it? Yes. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, on to the next one. All right, we're at number two, little different house, um, yep. much different price range. This one's under 200,000 and uh, about less than half the square footage. Let's see. All right, what'd you think of that? Um, interesting, I liked the brown bathtub. You like the brown bathtub? I mean. You want to? You want us to retile your uh, bathroom like that? Oh, thank you. Um, yes. Do you notice all the different types of floors? Yeah, there was like a different floor in the room and then like a different floor in the closet. Yeah. And then the basement, there were different flooring. Yep. And then there was tile yeah, on the it floor. <laughs> it was interesting. Yeah, it was an old piece together house. The garage goes back through there. <laughs> started looking at open houses at noon today 
and I failed to realize there was only two open houses uh, that opened at noon and we had to wait till two o'clock so we had some time to kill so we have been driving around the Brookside area which is amazing we've been looking at incredible houses what do you think have you been impressed with the houses yes they're they're like some really big ones and they're like insane houses. new old unique uh, modern farmhouses all kinds of different things and one of the things that happened we were in a really nice area Utica um, Midtown area to be specific and I saw a for sale by owner sign so uh, fortunately this one was being patient with me just so happened that the woman was unloading groceries so I jumped out of the car introduced myself and asked her about her house. Made a quick connection and I actually might know somebody who might be interested in that house. We are going first to a house that I'm very intrigued with from a investment perspective. It is $155,000 and it says it has two uh, homes on the property, which are two bedroom, one bath, thousand square feet, very intrigued with this. I'm interested personally. I know uh, out-of-state investors and local investors that I'm working with that may be interested in this one. So I'm very curious to see what this one's about. And I guess I should be paying attention to the directions rather than talking to this camera. Anything else to say? No. You excited to go look at more homes? What was your take? Um, I mean, it was okay, but the one behind it, well, I mean, that's not really a part of it, but all right. Um, I mean, the house kind of looked like it needed some work because, like, some of the paint was peeling. Yeah. And there were a couple of stones missing from the outside. So that was a typical investment property, meaning somebody owns it and they were renting it out to two separate families. Um, it was actually, I think, a pretty good value. Uh, the second property on the back needs a little work. It's kind of tough to see. People are living in there. The front rented for eight fifty. I think the back rented for seven fifty and I think it was a pretty good value. But also, you know, uh, they had to wake up the one tenant. Um, you are going to inherit both of them, although one of them's month to month. Whew, what do you think? Ready to see something nicer? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, let's figure out where we're going next. houses that we're looking at today are all in the Midtown Brookside area and there's kind of a reason we're looking at this particular area where and we're touring the houses and viewing available properties it's because we may know of a listing that is coming on to the market um, very soon it's not yet on MLS it's not listed anywhere but Word on the street is it's a beautiful white house, um, about 2,500 square feet, and will be available soon. We are about to go walk through what appears to be a new construction in an area that has multiple houses that look like they have been uh, knocked down new construction. thrown in the towel what would you think of a day of looking at open houses how many did we go through three or four, three or four. okay but we drove around for an hour and a half in between did you see some cool new uh properties in tulsa that you had never seen before yeah i know i did there are a lot of cool houses and properties 
Yep. I think you've decided you wanted to move into a couple of them. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Even though we just moved into a new construction house in the last year, you're ready to pick up and move again? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, it's a day in the life of Sunday afternoon with a realtor and a realtor in the making. And we'll catch you next time. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>